Hello guys, this is Jimmy and welcome back to the next episode of Factions, although I don't know if you call these Factions because all we do at the moment is base tours because yeah, there's not really too much else to do on here at the moment. So yes, today we are going to be doing a base tour over on the Faction Absia. So as you can see, I've got quite a few spawners there. They're not quite first, but they are a second. We have done quite a lot of base tours recently though, so like the other ones, if we do it at 250 likes, I'll release the world download on this. I did actually message one of the members in the Faction asking if we could have a TP earlier, and yeah, he TP'd us the base and gave us this little this stuff as well. He was like, come through here, and yeah, it looks like Balti skids uh, people's cannons there, so yeah, who dare. Uh, but in here, thank you very much for a gram for these creeper spawners. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good, pig spawners, and that's a really good chest plate. So, as we can see here, I'm just loading in this base now. It's actually pretty big, got 160 walls like most bases, apart from these boxes here. These don't have 160 walls, but yes, they've got the same chunk loading glitch as we did on the Asphyxia base. If we go over there, there is a little tiny box over there. I don't know, I think that's just some like poor members box. So we're just going to leave that one for now, but we're going to go in this big one. So this is the main member box. So on the actual base, they don't have this, but we have some like, there's some like little beds at the bottom. It glitches out my world download. Go into here. They've got a nice open box there. They've got another one here. I guess they're just using it for space. Probably, yeah, it looks like I'll leave a blaze spawner or something like that down there. If we go through here, they've got more boxes. These are probably getting sold. They've got one here. It looks like it's been blown up a little bit. They've got another one here, which is mined up a little bit. This one here would be good if I didn't have the world download glitch. Then we've got another space here where I can place one. This one here looks kind of cool. But yeah, it doesn't look like I've got any spawners there. And they've all been mined there. And all been mined here. So yeah, this area doesn't look the richest. This one here has been blown up. Maybe they've been raided here or something. And yeah, another one here. They've got a few in this. They've got some IGs and a few blaze. Although all of these can be segged. So I don't really know why they've got them like this. Yeah, pretty much just a lot of empty boxes. And yeah, a lot of spawners on the wall. Because I guess they don't need those. Because they've got 12 bill left on. They've got a lot of money, which I assume is mainly in the mod box because there isn't really many in these grinders here. Yeah. So we're going to go to the mod box. I think it's this way here. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. This is like a small little Enderman grinder. If we go up to here, they have a very big Enderman grinder. This one here is massive. Probably one of the biggest there is on the server at the moment. Currently, there isn't really any faction bigger apart from one. It's Temper. And they actually incited Manifest a couple of days ago. So they've got all Manifest spawners. If it wasn't for Manifest, these guys would be first, Absia. If we go into here, it looks like they've got a lot of IG spawners. And they've got the same design as we did in the last base tour episode for the Iron Collection room. But they actually have a kind of more efficient design here for space-wise. Then, I don't really know what this is here. But the base is actually pretty big. Compared to last episode with the 30 by 30 chunk base. Yeah, this base is pretty poor. It's like half the worth and it's about half, well, it's a lot less than half the size. But it's actually still pretty rich. I've got some nice design down there. If I do actually, if we do it 250 likes, I will actually attempt to re-world download it. It looks like we've been jetting some walls down there. They've got some creepers here for obviously getting stuff from creepers, maybe TNT, maybe gunpowder. They've got some nice little cubes of spawners. They've got some nice little rooms here with all these ender chests on. If we go in here, I don't really know what this is. Okay, it looks like it's maybe a little mod box. And it looks like, yeah, it's a bit of TNT storage, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it looks like it's just some mod. There we go. Public enchants for God's sake. Maybe this is the main mod F home or something. More areas here for boxes. A massive, massive Enderman grinder here. Yeah, they have a lot of their grinders spread out across the base. Uh, yep, another IG one. Yeah, IGs are worth quite a bit on here, so that's actually pretty good. In here, they have got another Iron Golem one. So it looks like these are maybe individual mod ones, because I saw the member box over there. Or maybe they're just member boxes, because it does look like a member box has got raided. Got another box here with what looks like Iron Golems and a nice little blaze grinder they haven't really got too many like designed rooms it's mainly just efficiency and yeah i guess saying that they've got this design room with oh, i don't know if this is the nicest design but they have a blaze grinder in it i don't really know what this is used for uh but maybe maybe the sign will tell got a nice little blaze grinder in here perfect so they can be segged if needed They've got a nice little AF cable, and then if we go in here, then it doesn't look like it's on AFK, and it's probably either been insided, or I don't really know, they've just taken their spawners down. They look like they have been segged, so yeah, this box probably has been insided. If we go down here, maybe this is a design room. It is, but it's pretty much just quartz. The floor design is pretty nice, and I've got some bedrock in the middle. Another box here, I don't think, yeah, we don't have anything in here, and they can obviously get up to the top, but I wonder if they have anything in any others, and nope, doesn't look like any of in there. Okay, they have some blaze in here so it looks like they do have a lot of just grinding boxes where obviously got faction grinds and they actually have a nicely designed box yes okay this here is actually kind of nice although i don't know why i've got obsidian everywhere and what's this say here gambling lounge uh, all right 
Over here, they have a lot of Enderman spawners again, and up there, doesn't look like they've got too many, but it, yeah, looks like these boxes are pretty close together anyway, so, I don't know, maybe one's a mod box or something. And then, if we go down here, they've got a few reverse layers, got a lot of spawners up at the top, and that's pretty much it, most, yeah, because most of their spawners are in one bit, and then they've got a small amount in other places around. And in fact, I miss this top area here, this looks like a lot of storage here, so... Yeah, I guess that's just mod storage. They've got another, this other design. I don't know. This isn't the nicest mod box I've seen, but it is pretty big. And yeah, obviously, all our IGs. This is pretty much most of F-Top. So if we do actually line up with these coordinates here, you will actually get quite a lot of uh, iron golems, assuming you actually get in. But so as, in fact, you can actually go through these as well. Wait, what even is this? Okay, well, I completely missed this area as well. And okay, this is where we pretty much have the whole AFK post. Yeah, okay, so they have like one art in each. That's kind of a cool idea where we have something that you can go around and they obviously have AFK pools in here. But yes, if we go on top of the base, we will see that they've actually kind of been raided a couple of times. It looks like they may have got raided here, but I'm not really too sure. Yeah, it looks like they would have gone here and they probably would have gone, yeah, perfectly. They would have lined up for the IGs, like I said. So yeah, it does look like they may have been raided. I'm not really too sure. And obviously this box that I did say at the start, but yeah, they've got, in fact, they've got some kind of cool filters there. Got slab and trapdoor filters. And if we go out here, they do have another set of filters here. Okay, yeah, they have another set here, but they're not watered, they're not finished. And they do have a checkbox here as well. So yes, that's pretty much actually for their base. There's quite a lot of stuff to it. I've got three main boxes, as you can see. And obviously, if we do hit 200 likes, I'm going to release the world download to this base. Anyway, guys, I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for today. If you have any other bases you want me to world download and tour on the Archon, maybe feel free to tell me down in the comments. And if you did enjoy this video, then feel free to subscribe. But yes, I just want to tell you, we've got a duping video out very, very soon. So a quick treat for you guys that have actually stuck around till the end of the episode. And yes, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.